Hey everybody, No Gas Nico here. What do you do when you're having problems with your battery? Um, your car is not running right, particularly Nissan Leaf, but it's not just designed to the Nissan Leaf. Um, if you have a bad cell in your battery pack, uh, what are some of you know, the signs and symptoms that, hey, there's an issue going on? Now, the way these lithium batteries work, particularly the Nissan Leaf, there are 96 cells. They usually group them in series in parallel. There's 24 modules. Um, the 30 kilowatt hour pack, for example, like the car I'm driving right now, has eight cells, um, got four pairs in uh, parallel, got, you know, parallels of two, two batteries ran in parallel. Then those four groups ran in series. So when you look at Leaf Spy, it looks like four cells, but it's actually four two-cell pairs. Uh, so anyway, when you're looking at Leaf Spy, you can see if you have a bad mod or pack of cells. Uh, I was exhibiting that problem with this car, and I have a whole series about it. Link is up here. You can uh, see that I'm having all kinds of problems with this car. So the question is, do I replace a module, replace the whole pack, or sell the car? Some people don't want to deal with it. They put the car for sale. I think that's what happened with this. People sold this in May uh, after winter, and the cold weather makes this problem a lot worse. So I'm on my way to do some grocery shopping. It's Saturday, February 4th. It's my brother's birthday. Happy, brother. Happy birthday to my brother, Mike. But anyway... I'm on my way to the store and I'm losing power balls. Here's a picture of what it looks like. Right now I got three of them missing and I'm driving 45 miles an hour and I'm very carefully accelerating. Um, it's actually a 55 mile an hour road. I don't want to do 55. There's nobody behind me because the more power I use, the more this thing starts to lose its available power. And I'll go into limited power, what's called turtle mode. And if I use too much power, I will get a fault for over discharge on a cell. And it's because I have degraded cells and these cells are actually bad. They need to change the whole pack, but Nissan will not change the pack unless I hit eight capacity bars. Here's a picture of what capacity bars look like. Currently at nine, Nissan won't change this thing until I hit eight capacity bars within the warranty limit, which is eight years, 100,000 miles. So here's my dilemma. The car is barely usable. I can use it because I have a program called Leaf Spy Pro. There's a link in the description for that program if you want to see what that's about. If you have a Nissan Leaf, it's a must-have. You must get it. I don't make any money on any of those links, so just go ahead and click them. Don't worry about me making money because I make zero dollars off YouTube. So anyway, click on that link. See how Leaf Spy works. I have Leaf Spy so I can reset my trouble codes. Um, I can clear them, and I can get this car running again, which... Sorry for the excessive road noise. Potholes in Michigan, that's all I gotta say. Um, I'm swerving all over the place trying to avoid these. We just got out of pothole season and we're back into it. But anyway, I digress. Get Leaf Spy Pro, look at it. You'll see things like this, uh, it's horrible. Another thing that shows a problem with a cell, particularly a Nissan Leaf, is you'll see your percent charge drop. It'll drop like an anchor. Just go right. I went to 100% to 26% in a seven mile drive. Then as the car is regenning, it went back up to 82%. Um, there's a little video, I'll let it play. So you can see the percentage capacity go up and it's like our percent charge go up. There's no car that can go from 26% to 82% on a regen that quickly. So I definitely have a big problem with this battery. Nissan only wants to address it one module at a time. Last time they hit this car, three and a half weeks. I don't want to be without a car another three, four weeks at a time for the next 23 modules. I'm going to be out of a warranty. So I'm choosing to deal with this car, drive it very carefully, and wait for the last segment, capacity segment to drop and get a warranty replacement. Uh, is this happening to you? Particularly Nissan Leaf, 30 kilowatt hour packs. Put some, leave me a message in the comments. Let me know what's going on. Uh, 
what did Nissan do for you? Or did they do the same thing? Just, you know, just put band-aids on it, replacing one module at a time? Or did you get a whole pack replacement? Um, they sent me a customer survey and I answered honestly. Uh, I'm not happy with them. This battery pack is shot and they made it worse by replacing one module. See these lithium batteries when they're in parallel and series, they like to be in balance. Well, I have a strong module now in with 23 week modules. This battery can never balance. And this has been the worst running EV I've ever seen. Um, everything else about this car is great. It's solid, it runs good, it drives good. The only problem is if I accelerate too rapidly, um, even normal acceleration now will throw a fault code. So I have to accelerate slow, people behind me, honking their horns because you know they're wondering why I'm going so slow but my choice now is either slow or stop so what's Nissan gonna do now do me a favor share this video let the word get out that you know Nissan is not particularly standing behind their product as they should I'm embarrassed for them because I'm a big advocate for the Nissan Leaf I love the car I believe it's a well-built car but this battery not the case so do your homework if you're looking to buy a used Nissan LEAF, particularly a 30 kilowatt hour or a new 2011, 2012. Do your homework. They may, you may regret the purchase um, unless you specifically buy the car to get a warranty replacement. There are people that do that, that's why I bought the car because I'm trying to get the 40 kilowatt hour warranty replacement. So anyway, those are some signs and symptoms if you have a bad cell. If you can do diagnostics to be able to see the health of each cell, that's particularly valuable when you go to the dealership and tell them what's going on. And um, maybe you can plead a case and get a battery replaced. Uh, a lot of vehicles don't offer that type of diagnostic tool. Uh, Nissan Leaf does. So if you're thinking about buying a Nissan Leaf, get the, get the OBD2 dongle, get the program, and run it on a car that you're thinking about buying it could tell you lots of information and may even steer you away from that car all right let me think tell me what you know um tell me what your experience uh, you got any questions for me put them in the comments i would like to i'd like to hear from you uh, answer any questions uh my experience i do have a series on what i'm going through with this car it links in the description to that series if you want to check it out check out those videos there's like six videos or so of my issues with this battery failing and it might give you some useful information if you're thinking about buying one of these cars i would hate to see somebody get into something they're unaware of and the next thing you know they totally regret the purchase um, i don't totally regret this purchase the car's still usable for me uh, my wife's driving my 2020 nissan leaf s plus which has been working out great for her because she gets a newer vehicle with a bigger battery and I'm stuck dealing with this car. So I kind of talked her into buying it. So I am paying for my influence on her. Um, I'm willing to do that, it is what it is. It's giving me great content for my channel and hopefully it's giving you some good information about what to do and what not to do. So I kind of regret having the module replaced. I should have just hung on for the 8% or eight bars left. But I thought since the battery pack was so bad, Nissan would actually do something and replace the battery pack. But I'm convinced now that the best thing to do is wait for to hit the warranty threshold that they have set. All right, that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll keep you updated on a lot of things. I got a few things in the work. Also, if you signed up for my giveaway, the drawing is tomorrow, February 5th at 5 p.m. I'm going to do a live drawing. I believe there's 25 or so contestants entered, so you have a really good chance of winning. So check it out. Don't forget to log in at 5 o'clock and see if you won that charger. And again, it's free, 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 free shipping. All I got to do, I'm going to put my email address up there. Just email me your address, and I will put it in the mail free of charge. You're going to get it free from No Gas Nico. All right. Again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you, and God bless.